Oh, the Glen Farkless Handicap Chase is the next one then. This is over the curious distance of three more than seven furlongs. The top one is Ongers of the World for Leon van Rinsburg. Panzer for Martin Leedham. Compact Bonnie, James Shea, Da Vinci, Paul Rhodes, Zabida, Suzanne for David Robertson. No More Heaven for Paul Rhodes. Sheila Citron for Darren Thompson. Catching Over Hassel for Thomas Rogers. Sang Bleu for Craig Beckwith. And Eva, Eager and Keen even for... Graham Clutterbuck, so no previous winners in this one either. They've been called in. It's quite a low rated chase, this one, I think. Uh, da Vinci is just about the first to show, but Eager and Keane on the inside has disputed it with him at the moment as they make their way towards the first of 25 obstacles that they've got to negotiate in this Glen Farkless handicap chase. And they're all safely over the first of them. 24 more to take, chaps. And Eager and Keane is in front by two and appears to be both Eager and Keane at the moment as he's racing through the rain. And down towards the second fence and the rest of them almost in a line behind just about the back marker is compact bonnie and sang blue with the white sleeves is also just a little bit behind the rest of them but they're pretty tightly packed with the exception of this leader eager and keen who races uphill now and towards the second fence long run between the first two and eager and keen is the leader and by a good three lengths and so that one nicely bit of a slow jump on the inside there by i think it's no more heaven it's two in the same colors there no more heaven and da vinci i think no more heaven was the one that jumped in a little bit slowly as they get down to this next one which they're all over again so if you're there they come up past the stand then now and you can see we're getting them from the inside of the track here at Cheltenham. this fence they're coming up to now i think is the one that'll be the last on the next circuit either the last or the second last anyway depending on exactly where we are and it's eager and keen who is in the lead as we get obscured by an ambulance for a few seconds over that one we go a bit of a slow jump by catching over hassle the thing that will just drop back a little bit in this next fence i think is going to be the last on the next circuit indeed it is there's the big screen over it they go and catching over hassle didn't jump it well and da vinci jumped it worse and has crashed out of the race so paul Rhodes' strange day continues then he's had a lot on the floor but he's also had a share of a winner in a dead heat in race two but it's eager and keen in the lead then Passing that big screen and right to swing out left-handed, racing towards another plane fence and then the water jump after that. So Eager and Keen leads by a good four lengths to Panzer on the inside in the maroon jacket, the turquoise and, and mo hoops of Zobide, uh, Cezanne alongside that one. Then a bit of a gap back to No More Heaven and Catching Over Hassel and then Sang Blur. Eyes of the World in the blue with a yellow cap is next as they get over that one. And then Compact Bonnie and finally Sheila Citron is just the back marker of the remaining nine of them. As they make their way then towards the water. They'll all get over this one with that too much hassle. Eyes of the World has just dropped to the back. That's the top weight there, remember. And Eager and Keen is in the lead with Panzer and Zabida Sizan together in second and third. Catching over Hassle is next as they take that ditch, which they've all got over as well. Catching over Hassle seems to have recovered from that mistake a few fences ago. They're all jumping well within themselves at the moment as they get to this next one. And over that one, they all go a bit slow at the back with Sheila Citron, but Apart from that, everybody's over it okay. And Eager and Keen is continuing to show the way, running through the rain, leading by three to Panzer, Zobida, Cezanne, and catching over Hassel, who are now all together. And a little gap after them of a length or two to the second of the Paul Rhodes horses, No More Heaven, the first one having departed the race a few fences ago. Now they've still got a long old way to go. And it's Eager and Keen who's going to jump that one in the lead. Panzer's over it in second. Zabida Sizan is third and catching over Hassel fourth. Sang Bleu is after that one and then Compact Bonnie and No More Heaven and Eyes of the World. And finally Sheila Citron but with well over two miles still to go. There's no need to panic if you're towards the back at the moment. A long, long way to go yet as they get to number 12. And over that one they go. And also from the over that one the next fence will be the middle fence in the jump and if you like the 13th of the 25 and we're going to do a bit of jockey cam action we're sitting on the back of sang blur and they're on the back of eager and keen and they're on the back of panzer and we're whizzing about like nobody's business as they come to this next one and the cameraman obviously kept his camera on mine because he thought it might fall over probably anyway shooter sitron is making a bit of good ground on the outside as you can see there's the stand in the distance we're probably going to go through the lot of them, I think, and have a little, have a little sit on them all. We're back to a more traditional view now then. And Eager and Keen is in the lead as they straighten up. And they'll take the two fences in the straight. 
and then they'll go around and do it all again. And Eager and Keen is in front, catching over Hassel and Panzer. After that, as they get over this next one, and a mistake at the back by Eyes of the World. Drunk that one at all, Will. Eager and Keen's led all the way. This will be the last on the next circuit. Good jump there by catching over. Hassel moving into a much closer second now. Panzer and Zabida Susanna still there as we get this right live action low down shot and see them racing away on their final circuit of the track. And Eager and Keen has led past that. Well, led past the winning post because we don't actually go past the winning post at Cheltenham until it counts, but has led past the stand, shall we say, then twice, and we'll be hoping to do so for a third time. Catching over Hassel, he's close up though now in second, probably only a neck down. Then Zabida Cezanne is third, and Panzer is four, and Sangler is five, and then Compact Bonnie is six. Sheila Citron is making ground in seventh as they get over that next one, and as I said, that Sheila Citron went right the way through that and has now been relegated to last again as they make their way towards what should be the water jump next I think indeed it is and catching over Hassel and Eager and Keen disputing the lead Eager and Keen probably just the better jump over the water has now regained a three quarters of a length lead catching over Hassel second gap of two or three then back to Panzer in the red rum silks in third as they get to that ditch gets over it nicely Sang Blur is making good ground Zerbadiah Cezanne just dropped back a little bit on the inside eyes of the world is trying to creep into it Compact Bonnie still there on the rail as they get over number 19 then Sheila Citron trying to get going again and no more heaven is the new back marker but at business end of the race it's Eager and Keen and catching over Hassel who are disputing the lead ahead to the good then is the Clutterbuck horse on the inside so Eager and Keen in the lead from catching over Hassel with a gap of about four then as they take that big ditch to Panzer who jumped it a little bit lethargically but up the top it's Eager and Keen and catching over Hassel who are having a head bobbing battle for the lead and Eager and Keen is still winning it at the moment Eager and Keen over this next one good jump by catching over Hassel though seeing that one move on the outside into just about taking a share of it as they come round this turn I think Eager and Keen will come out of it in front due to the fact that he's on the inside but it's Eager and Keen still just about in front from catching over Hassel these are well clear of Eyes of the World who's getting ominously closer and they take this 20 second fence then over it they all go they're all over it safely and Eager and Keen has kicked on again catching over Hassel is now two lengths back in second the pack are beginning to close Eyes of the World Sang Blur Zobadai Cezanne Panzer and Sheila Citron running on well as well they've still got three more fences to take and this is the third last and Eager and Keen got over it well got away from it well look at this Sheila Citron running around on the outside Panzer's dropped away it's Eager and Keen in the lead Eager and Keen is in the lead she Sheila Citron is now throwing out a big challenge in second Sangbler is third then comes Zobanaya Cezanne who's still there Panzer's trying to run on again Eyes of the World hasn't really got going catching over Hassel's run its race and Compact Bonnie's trying to get into it on the outside it's wide open as they come down to the second last and it's Zobanaya Cezanne who's now gone into the lead from Sang Blur as the long time leader Eager and Keen drops away Panzer Citron oh he's gone the leader's gone Zom Zombanaya Cezanne crashes out of the second last it's Sang Blur now being pressed by Panzer on the inside Eyes of the World on the outside at the final fence Panzer lands the lead Eyes of the World makes a mistake Sheila Citron trying to run on it's Panzer Panzer's racing up the hill he's two lengths clear of Sang Blur in second then Sheila Citron Eyes of the World it's Panzer racing up the hill towards the line now less than half a furlong to go and it looks like Panzer's gonna take it and um, Panzer's the first winner in the red from Silks along the stables across the line it's Panzer wins the eyes of the world second in Sangler and Compact Bonnie Sheila Citron after that one and some of those horses have finished pretty tired and I think that Panzer will probably have to consider itself a bit of a lucky winner because Obadiah Cezanne was really going well and it crashed out at the final fence and would have been pretty different but we'll take what we can this season and Panzer is the winner for Martin Liedem. Eyes of the World for Leon van Rensburg second, Sang Blur for Craig Beckett was third, Sheila Citron for Darren Thompson was fourth and long-time leader Eager and Keane for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth. <laughs>